Hello, piano people. I'm Matt Haas. This is Piano Awesome. We're talking about time signatures today. That is those two little numbers at the beginning of the staff, and they mean something. What do they mean? Well, the top one is super easy. The top one is how many beats there are in a measure. If you look at the staff, the space between the bars, that's the measure. Measure, bar, measure, bar. Got it? Okay, so there's four beats in a measure. The bottom number describes the type of beat. Okay, well then how do you figure that out? Well, nobody knows. It's so complicated, no one can figure it out. Yes, NASA has put humans on the moon, but they're not smart enough to figure out what that bottom number mean. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it is super complicated to wrap your head around it. Um, first, here's a cheat sheet. This is what they mean. So this is the type of note that goes in. Remember the notes? We've got the quarter note, the half note, the dotted half note, and the whole note. Well, the bottom number is really telling you how many can fit into a whole note in the exact number that it's it's displaying. So if it's four, how many, which four of these will fit into a whole note? Well, if it's a four, well, it's a quarter note because a quarter, 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 that equals a whole. But again, use the cheat sheet. Isn't that a ridiculous way to describe what type of note it is? A number and making you do all this mental stuff? <sighs> 300 years ago, this was all figured out. And people 300 years ago, they had nothing better better to do than sit around and try and figure out the most complicated way to express information. But that's the way it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> time signatures. Now you know. <laughs> Thanks, piano people. Stay awesome.